Hi friends, Fire on Pop here, and today we're at the range. It's a nice, uh, we just got a ton of snow on Christmas Day, and uh, uh, and I had to tretch in here, but that's okay. Um, what I wanted to sh do today and show you is, uh, Santa was pretty good to me. What I have here is a um, black powder pistol. Okay, it's a replica. Uh, it's, I got it used, got a real good price on it. And this gun is not for self-defense. This gun is for fun. And uh, we're going to play around today with the loading it and shooting it and uh, seeing what this can do. So uh, uh, this is the gun. I'm at the range. It's a uh, black powder pistol. Um, I'm going to show you what it takes to load it and what it looks like firing it. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, here I am on the workbench, and uh, here's the pistol. Here's a little closer-up look. Um, it's a uh, it's a nice pistol. This is uh, where, where you put the caps. You load it this way, and there is a loading arm right here. Okay, that compresses the ball and the uh, and the button, the bore button, the wad into the cylinder. Okay, and we're going to go through that whole operation. What I've got today is some black powder, and these are actual black powder pellets. Uh, it takes all the, uh, I'm sorry, that's not the black powder. This is the black powder in their pellet, pellets. Let's see if we can get a close look at that. Uh, the maximum load for 44, 44 uh, caliber. You can see it right there. Let's see if it focuses. Okay, and I'll show you what they look like here. I don't know if I can do it one-handed. Okay, uh, here we go with the, uh, the black powder. And these are the, whoops, they went, went, went away. These are the black powder pellets. Um, they were a preset with the charge. Um, I, you know, was, was a little worried about having to measure out the black powder and uh, not blowing up the gun. But this kind of eliminates all that, and I think it's a good way to start. And like I said, this is a, a starter for me. I've never shot black powder before, never loaded a black powder gun. So we're learning as we go. What we also have here is the uh, percussion caps. I'll see if I can get a close-up look at that. Okay. The Remington number 11 percussion caps. Uh, I have them loaded into a uh, holder. And you'll see why I tried putting a cap on with my fingers and my fat fingers just couldn't get there and hold the cap and put it in place. So you need some kind of holder. And this holds almost 100 caps. Okay. And then you have the bore buttons. Okay. And I can't believe the price of these things. Now these are lubricated wads. Uh, I guess that's what makes them expensive. Uh, there's 50 here and they cost about 10 bucks. Uh, for the package. I'm going to try to find a, a cheaper uh, outlet. I, I saw a tool to cut them, but of course if you cut your own felt uh, it's not lubricated. And These are lubricated. You can actually see the lubrication on the end. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be using to uh, to load the pistol and uh, we're going to mount the camera now and uh, and continue doing that. Be right back. Okay, we got only loaded four rounds. One I had to really work on getting it in. Now, those bolts took a lot of pressure to get down. Uh, I just hope that's right. Anyway, what we're going to do now is uh, is put the caps on. So I'm going to go to where the first round is, which is this one. And it should work just like this. First cap is on. 
to the second. Second cap is on. Going to the third. going to the force. Now I'm going to load one cylinder with just the cap, only because my curiosity says, what does just the cap sound like? So we're going to find that here in a second. Okay, so I've got four cylinders loaded with with balls. One with just a cap. All right, I'm going to put this hammer down on the empty, and when I come up and I cock it, it should come right up to the first one. Okay, I'm going to keep that sucker down range. Okay. Air protection on, eye protection on, I'm wearing a glove, only because I don't really know what to expect with this uh, with this puppy. So we're going to cock it. Brings the first cylinder up. Aim. And fire. That was cool. Try another one. Okay, here we go. Some live fire. Okay, friends, we're going to, now that I got this down pat a little bit better, we're going to go ahead with a reloading. First thing we're going to do is half cock, make sure all the caps are off, which they seem to be. Okay, so we're half cocked. We bring that up, and I think the easiest way is to start loading the uh, powder charge. Okay. Got it. Remember, when I'm looking at it this way, it goes counterclockwise. And when you're putting the caps on, you're going clockwise. So let's uh,
Okay, here we go with a live fire. Bunch ready, pointed down range, cock, finger in the trigger. Uh, the caps were struck and for some reason did not uh, fire, so it might just been uh, faulty caps. So let's uh, try those cylinders again. Talk about a smoking gun. Okay, taking a look at the target. Uh, shooting kind of high into the left. Uh, but it's a nice grouping in that, so I could compensate for it. Uh, that's one of the things I didn't show you, is the sights on this gun. And I'm going to do that now. Okay, if you look at the sighting system, there is a, a ball. Oh, that's much better. Uh, on the front, but if you come to the back to look to a rear sight, there is none. Okay, that's because the sight is on the hammer. So as you you go to aim it, there's an, actually a V notch in the hammer, and that gives you your rear sight. Uh, kind of cool. Um, don't know how accurate that is, but that's the way it goes. So here she is. Here's a little close, better close-up look. At the, at the way uh, the gun works. Okay, kind of happy. That was a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun learning how to do it. Um, hope you enjoyed watching the video. This is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.